I think my long-term future plan is to start our own foundation. Yes. I am very, very passionate about mental health, especially eating disorders. I don't feel there's enough awareness and support and treatment and resources in Australia, yet alone Adelaide. And it is my long-term goal to build a foundation that one day we'll build a residential treatment centre here in Adelaide. Yes. That would be my ultimate philanthropy goal. Yes. Um, and I think in the future we would do major events or have focus on working towards that associated with our cinemas and possible future expansion into other industries as well. Bob? Wallace asked Michelle whether she wanted the company. Otherwise, he was going to sell it because he wasn't well. And yes, she did want it. Um, his vision is Michelle's vision and Zorna's vision. Uh, I think Michelle, when she's running the whole thing, if she surrounds herself with good people, good young people, it won't be me because you, know, you might notice I'm older. Um, I did actually say to Bob way before, or not, not long before he died, we've got to surround your daughter with good people who will support her. And if she does that, she'll make this company, she'll return it to what it was and improve it. Wallace will need to continue to embrace technological changes and adapt our strategies, uh, marketing, operational, programming, every single field needs to adapt in order for the uh, company to keep up with uh, changes to the industry. If we do this, the future looks bright for Wallace. Uh, we still retain our local identity I work a lot with providers in the IT sphere and uh, often a lot of them comment that they want to work with Wallace because it's a great well-known brand and we still maintain that great well-known brand today. And if we continue to embrace uh, change and adapt uh, our, our methodology in those fields, then uh, we can keep up with um, we can keep up with the film industry generally. The future is definitely a challenge. This industry has always been tough. There's no doubt about it. But as I said previously, there's there's evidence to suggest. Um, I mean, this, the Spanish flu shut cinemas in 1918. They were shut for two to six months. Um, but 1919 was a bumpy year. After the Great Depression, they had a bumpy year. After television, they had a bumpy year. Um, after World War II, they had a bumpy year. So I think people will come back. Um, for us, particularly, like I said before, I think, I mean, a, apart from all the things that we do different, we have we talk about point of uh, point of difference between us and the opposition, and we've got to keep doing those things. I firmly believe that. I mean, this is, it sounds silly, but I don't. I think chalk tops are like a drug to a lot of people. You know, they come to a movie and it's like, I've got to have a chalk top. And it's like, why have I got to have a chalk top? It's like we've, we've taught them for generations. You watch a movie, you've got to have a chalk top in your hand. Now, I don't think you're going to get that from some mindless factory made chalk top. The same with our popcorn. I mean, okay, it's a trick. We, 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 we pop popcorn when a session starts, as you all know, you know, because the smell most people buy it. I don't think you get that from a pre-packaged uh, popcorn that was made three weeks ago in a factory somewhere, somewhere else. So the hard borders may do us a favour in regards to people will come uh, when this is lifted. And like I said, August 27 is going to be a big day because that's the day a tenant will be released. And uh, all, all this will be tested. But um, I firmly believe that people will come back. Uh, Wallace's will continue and the industry will bounce back. The future looks good. Um, it's just the industry that we we, we just have to um, massage back into 
coming back to life on how we how we experienced it 12 months ago or pre pre covid um and it's up to its product because people will come and see something that they want to see and that and that they're they're interested to see um as long as they're still producing movies in in hollywood and, and overseas and the australian market which they're trying to you know help now because bring the u.s companies over into the australia and produce up on the gold coast as long as we've got those movies still around definitely we'll still be for the next 50 years again especially with the younger generation wallaces diana coming through we know we're in good hands future also besides cinema that i do believe that will be with diana being the fourth generation and her her vision her magic sparkle her drive her goals that we'll be looking into most definitely I do believe that you need to diversify. Mm. Can't so, rely on all your eggs in one basket. No. So that is something that we will be playing on and I'll be a great support for Deanna um, with, with that for sure. I think my dream, I, I love cinema. I was born into this industry. I was born into this business world and I was mentored by the best business mentor I could possibly have um, and to be thrown at eight years old to be in such a public manner mm. and to think about my dreams and my vision and for Greta to trust me at that age knowing that he would trust me in the future I do have goals to expand yes. the company into other industries when the time is right um, we have other family members who have been so inspiring to me um, and I want to continue, well, honour their legacy, Mm -hmm. Um, especially my beautiful daughter, Harper, who I lost when she was about five months old. Mm -hmm. Um, I, as a mum, I see myself as a mum, regardless if she's here or not. Mm -hmm. Um, She won't have the opportunity to... Make an make an impact or make her own stamp. Like we have the very blessed and fortunate opportunity to do so. And when we do expand into other industries one day, I will be incorporating her yes. in every single way that I can um, to bring her along this journey with us. So the girls continue. So the girls continue, <laughs> um, and she'll also heavily be honoured in our foundation yeah. and yeah that's that's the one day goal what does cinema mean to me to me it's an escape it's that's a doorway i'm looking at the screen uh that's a doorway to another world so for two and a half hours you can get transported to another planet to another universe to another dimension uh you can't get this at home because your phone rings or the dog comes in, or the kids want to have something to eat. That's why movies at the cinema are so much better. It's two and a half hours, turn your phone off, you're in another world. Your blood pressure comes down, I know mine does. You know? And I'm, like I said, I'm in another world. It's got to be good for your health. And to me, oh, it's, it's an addictive. I, I can't remember not going to the movies ever since I was a kid. But to me, that's why. It takes you to another place. Cinema means a lot. It means a lot to... It means a lot to it. It means you don't realise until you work in the cinema. People think you work in the cinema industry, you're sitting around watching movies all day. Sadly, it's not true. <laughs> what uh, Cinema, what does that mean to me? Cinema, to me, is about, is a place. A place that you can come to, to visit. That you can forget your worries and troubles, whatever's in your life at the time and that day in your chapter in your book of life to simply come to cinema to our world to our home and it's a whole new world it's a, it's a whole new world it's having that popcorn having that chop top or whatever that may be and to carry that through to you and go inside in one of our auditoriums and to sit there in your space in your time in your moment and to enjoy the film of your choosing on our big screen 
and to be immersed in it for two and a half or to three hours. That's what cinema is about to me, is coming into our world, into a Wallace world, <laughs> and have that escapism and just simply forget about your worries and enjoy the film and hopefully then to leave having something from the film. It could be a scene, a paragraph, a word, a sentence, whatever it may be, because that will relate especially to you in your time, in your moment. And that is something that I cannot measure. It's a gift in return, knowing that you've enjoyed your time with us. Thank you.